this is part of my thing with Gabe Kapler. I'm not bothered because I'm amused. It doesn't mean as much as you all think of me, oh my gosh, he loves Gabe Kapler. I find it amusing because it's weird. I know Yankee fans can't stand John Sterling because he doesn't know where the ball is. I find it so madly amusing that I can't, <laughs> I can't, I can't be mad at it. The Giants have a manager who looks like he's on the catwalk when he goes to get a pitcher from the mound, and then after the game, he goes and gets a juicy burger and puts it on social media, and I think it's funny. I'm sorry. I think it's funny. <laughs> it, it makes me laugh, and I like to laugh. So I have a hard time getting mad at the guy. Yeah. Because it's funny. And, and in fairness, I don't take issue with any of that. Just, like it doesn't, it doesn't amuse me. Yeah, and that's, but it, it I, doesn't and I amuse it. me. But I it, but I but I also I don't it. hold it against him. <laughs> I really don't. I know I people think I probably do. I can't but. stop laughing. Like that strut out to the mound. Like what on earth is that? <laughs> and the right, the the white hoodie and the glasses and the just. It's like, bro, the hand tat. You got a lot going on. <laughs> It just, it makes me laugh. I don't know what to do about it. I'm sorry. I don't know what to do about it. That's cool. (laughs) Hey, Um, man. uh, No, go ahead. No, that's cool. (laughs) That's cool. I'm going Big Lebowski on you. Hey, man. No, I'm not fuming. Hey, man. The dude abides. (laughs) Come at me. I'm the dude. Um, I tell you what, we are the dudes who have warrior tickets. We all had Warrior tickets, but but the other dudes around here, they all gave them away. So we're the ones who've got the tickets now. Wow. That's right. And we're going to give them away in the 5 o'clock hour. All you got to do is listen. That's how we're celebrating the release of the Warrior schedule. So one lucky listener between 5, 5.30, somewhere in there, you got to be listening. We'll give you the cue to call. You call if you're the lucky caller. Bang, you're in. Two tickets, you pick the game. It's got to be here in San Francisco. Other than that, that's it. You pick the game. You want to see the Lakers? You want to see them adorable Kings? You want to see Jordan Poole? You want to see KD? Whatever you want to see. Maybe you're a weirdo. Like if it were Gabe Kapler, he'd be like, I'd like to see the Orlando Magic. Like, I don't know. If you're a weirdo, let's ride. Okay? Just be listening. And then we'll give you the cue to call somewhere there in the uh, the 5 o'clock hour. Uh, hey, Marlon in Concord. What you doing, Marlon? Thanks for calling. You're on with Willard and JD. Hey, guys. Hey, man. Thanks for taking my call. Great show, like always. Hey, I was I was really just trying to chime in a little bit because I know Pavlik, you know, gets a lot of heat. I've been listening to you guys a lot, you know, the last week or so. And, um, you know, you bring up good, good points, Willard, where you say, like, maybe people don't like Kapler because he is this, this kind of yoked guy. The strong guy. He doesn't look like Bochi. He's not an older manager. But uh, I do feel like a lot of people, like the caller, a couple, you know, calls back, they, they really don't like the guy, I think, because he's not that old school type of manager, right? And, and I feel like he did just win 107 games a couple seasons ago, and I feel like the Giants are in a really good position. You know, before the beginning of the season, everybody was choosing the Padres to win the whole thing. And look at where the Giants are. Like, I think something good is brewing. Um, I think Giants fans need to chill out a little bit. And the last thing I'll say is because Bochy did win a few World Series, he's in this special category where he would never get fired, just like Steve Kerr would never get fired. And I feel like, like I said, Giants fans just need to chill out a little bit. Um, I'll admit I'm a Dodgers fan. And even though I like the Dodgers, <laughs> well, there same go. thing. People want to fire Dave Roberts if he doesn't win the World Series every year. Well, and he does make some bonehead calls. But anyways. Yeah, Marlon, I, I, I love your call. And then, you like, I'm just being real, brother. You just ripped all your credibility with your point. I guarantee you. I'm not saying with me, but with, with fans around the bay, they they don't yeah. want they don't want to be told hey, who man. to like by a Dodger fan. I say if I was a Dodger if, if I was a Dodger <laughs> fan, I, I would love want Gabe, Gabe Kapler, Kapler here for the next 20 years. <laughs> that was awesome. Was Any day's a good day for the Dodgers to lose. For a minute and a half, he's like, man, I think you know Kapler's doing well. Everybody chill. Like 
I'm a Dodger fan, and everyone went, oh, for crying out loud. Exactly. <laughs> you don't get to talk on this, but Marlon, you do. No, truly, thanks for the call. Dude, we can uh, make that trade if you uh, want. Uh, yeah. Like, You want to trade Dave Roberts? I for- will tell you this. I don't know if you care, but the Dodger fan base thinks Farhan Zaidi's balls, and they take what? him back in a hot second. Again, my biggest issue with Farhan was the Kapler hire. Yeah. Like, that's... I mean... That... Like, here, here's what I'd say. If they it. had another manager, I would just, like, that's where it, the whole thing, I you'd feel like. Fine. I ha- I would be fine. Yeah, you'd be fine. I, I get it. I'd be fine. Like, I, I, this is one of the things, like, I'm not telling anybody who to like. You, you get to like, and, not, not only on an individual basis, but you get to like the style of baseball that you like. However, there's one thing that, for me, is underlying that is factual. Like... You are, if you are one of the people that doesn't like him, if you're a detractor, you are being a little loud when put up against the record that has been posted. And you may be able to accept that, but in a general sense, in the world of baseball, this record would not garner this response. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, and and again, I... I just keep coming back to the fact that I do I do think he executes, talking about Gabe, I think he executes the plan that Farhan wants executed and that the front office wants executed. So as far as they're concerned, he checks the boxes and I don't think they like I don't think they're sitting there uh, in their offices thinking, "Well, he's he's blowing games for us because he's Definitely not. because he's doing everything they want." Yeah. Yeah. 99% of the time. Right. And, Alex Wood thinks he's blowing games because he doesn't get to start any of them. Sure. Well, that, and again, I'm Alex's ERA was over five last year. I'm not even. I'm not right. even going there. Right. It's just. I, I guess when it goes back to the higher, like, okay, you're going to be a you're going to be a front office that's going to be run a certain way. Like to me, it was like what? Like why? Just hire Kai Correa then to be the manager, or hire you know some of the other guy Katara who they interviewed. Hire. Uh, I'm trying to remember who was the guy. Well, Bonte would tell you to hire Buster Posey. Who was the guy that? Well, that got all kinds of run. And I find it interesting that it got all kinds of run. Well, people would love that. Well, that's what I mean. Like, what, what Bonte did yesterday was he struck a chord. And, and, and that's really, really good. Like, that's real. That, that means he, right? He struck well, people a, would love that in the same way they would love Steph Curry. Right. Being the, yeah, or, but I mean, I don't know if he feels like Buster feels like a manager. For multiple reasons. He's a catcher. A lot of catchers turn into managers. See, that's he that's what Bochy was. He doesn't feel like a manager to me. Well, he I, feel, I, I, I don't feel like of, he wants to be around it every day like I that. kind of agree with you, but that's com- you're coming from a place of you've actually been in the clubhouse and you've been around Buster Posey. I think Posey. that's part of why he retired when yeah, he I mean, kept playing. Like, I, I believed him when he looked in our eyes last year and went, I'm going to Georgia, and I was like, we're never going to see him again. Yeah. I'm shocked at how much Buster Posey is around. And this yeah. idea that he's now moving the family back to the Bay Area, uh, a, a, a dude from Georgia, like that's interesting. It is interesting. I don't know why. I'm not saying that I'm going down the the, the theory that he's about to be the manager. Well, uh, again, but what, it- but what Bonte did was he struck a chord, and the reason he struck a chord, I think, is relevant to the conversation we're having right now because no matter how good or bad the Giants' record is. It speaks to what Giants fans want in that role right now that they don't have, and that's likability. Giants fans would love that. They want likability. And if it's going to be, and, and to my point, if there's going to, if if Farhan's going to run it, and and the manager's just going to be an extension of Farhan, and that's okay because everybody's agreed to that. That's what the plan is, which I think is what ha- yeah. it has been these last five years. Why not have it be somebody that is r- extremely well liked? Like to me, that makes more sense than having it be. A Buster may not see it that way, or someone like that. Yeah. he may not be aligned. Well, he, he may, may not, not want to do it. baseball. He just may not way. want to do it. I don't know. Although he's yeah. aligned enough to want to be as tied into the organization as he is, he sees something going on where he's like, "I'm not just going to Georgia." That man made almost two hundred million dollars. He doesn't need to do a dang thing. He sat the pandemic year out because of what was going on with his family and his new babies. He doesn't need to be this involved. He likes something that's going on with this organization. And and by the way, I, I, I totally don't. This is not about money. 
Buster's not doing this oh, no, no. because money. That like that's just not him. That's not Buster's got plenty of dough for the rest of his life and he'd be more than happy to just ride that out. But there's something he digs about this. But I like that chord that Bonte struck yesterday is fascinating to me because it truly does pose a question for everybody. Um, what is most important to you right now in the manager seat for the Giants? Like, Gabe has won more than he's lost. And I'm not saying somebody else wouldn't win, but what's the priority, winning or likability? Bochi was both. Uh, I know that's what's. But, what, uh, but that's again, what, if you're if if the manager is going to be an extension of the front office, you might as well have. And it doesn't really matter who it is in some ways. If you buy that, then, then I, I buy it in this instance. Yeah, then, I like. I don't think Gabe Kapler's doing anything other than executing their plan, which I will acknowledge. That makes it more difficult to criticize him specifically without criticizing the whole plan. Yep. And I have acknowledged that, but like I don't think like he's not he's not getting more out of them than than Farhan's given them. It's all the same. That's a fair point. If you like do buy, and a lot of like, people do, that the baseball manager role as a whole has just completely been. I think it's different for different teams. I think with the maybe. Giants right now, he's he's well, doing what he's told. Then 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 it's fair. If that's and, and, if, but everybody's cool with it because that. But I guess what I'm getting at is if. If it doesn't matter who it is, you might as well hire somebody likable. Like, why wouldn't you hire somebody likable? Why wouldn't you hire the m most popular player? Well, but is that person going well, to do I, it? Yeah, I'm is, just saying. Is that person well, going to do if it Buster exactly? If Buster Posey really wanted the job and would follow the plan, that's a no-freaking-brainer. That would be a no-brainer. Well, because I because I yeah, tell you it's not just like ability too. But, he but, has he has the, he has more gravitas in that clubhouse than Gabe does. And whether it's fair or unfair, yeah. Buster Posey, I, I, whatever. What's their record right now? Do you what know it off the top of your head? I think it's sixty four and fifty seven. Okay, I think sixty four and fifty seven with this team with Buster Posey would hit a lot different than it does with Gabe Kapler. Of course, it that's does. just course, real. That, that would be over. That, is, that would be overachieving and he <laughs> manager of the year votes yep, and yep, like, yep, all of it. And I'm acknowledging that's kind of BS. It's hypocritical, no doubt. But no doubt. It, but you're not but, wrong. But my point is, you're not wrong. it would hit different. Of course, it and would. the vibes would be a lot better. Yeah, of course it would. I uh, listen to 95.7 The Game, KGMZ FM, and HD One San Francisco, always live on the free Odyssey app, Twitch, and YouTube. Powered by First NorCal Credit Union. Uh, Willard, have you ever been to Georgia? Yeah, I have. I have. I've been to Georgia multiple times. Actually, I like Georgia. I think Buster likes Georgia. Um, come on, that's a surprise, right? Buster Posey, born and raised in Georgia, goes to Florida State, says he's heading back to Georgia with, uh, what was he, got four kids now, and uh, they're going to retire there with their $200 million. If I had told you at that press conference that two years later Buster would be part owner of the Giants and, and moving back to the Bay Area, <laughs> that's a major underdog. Major underdog. Rocky in the city. Hey, you're on with Willard and JD. What's up, Rocky? What are you doing? Oh, just... You know, finishing another day in the concrete business, boys. How's it going? Well done. It's going great, man. Hey, um, so, first of all, that last caller, was his name Marlon? I uh, swear. Yeah, the Dodger fan, yes. <laughs> yeah, I swear that was far. I'll play back the audio again. <laughs> that was him. Uh, come on, Rock. Um, it's funny, J.D., while I was on hold, you just said, uh, what, if Buster did become our manager and would follow the plan, that it might work. And I think that's the problem with the Giants is that we're following this plan of, of analytics-driven management of baseball games, and it doesn't work for the players, and it doesn't work for us fans. Uh, nobody likes it. We, mm. you know, we just want people to go out and hit, and I think the reason we're not signing big bats is because they, the, players, the superstars want to hit. You know, They don't want to be subbed in the fifth or the seventh for a righty-lefty matchup. They don't have any and, superstars, though, Rock. They don't have any of them. What, what's that? They don't have any of them. You said superstars want to hit. They don't have any of them. That's why they can't like, get I, them, I think, you is know the what point. I mean? I, there, there, there's a chicken of the egg conversation going on here. If I were to be sitting next to Alex Wood right now, no joke, I'd say that Alex says, hey, stop this analytics crap. I want to pitch. And, and my response would be, but when you did, it didn't work. So who's right here? Sure. 
So if you go, well, hey, Jock I, Peterson wants to hit lefties, and then he strikes out 10 straight times, who's right? Should we just keep banging the head against the wall? Well, the problem, the thing is, Jock's not a superstar. No, I mean, they don't have any. Above average players. Yeah, they don't have, that's, that's what I just said. They don't have any. Well, and that, yeah, and that, we, on that, we can all agree. On that, we can all agree. And the, we're not going to sign a Bryce Harper. We're not going to sign a Giancarlo Stanton. We're not going to sign, you know, with Mike, uh, Aaron Judge, Arson Judge, you know, because, <laughs> or Otani, because these guys want their ABs. They want their five, 600 at bats in a season. Oh, Rocky, and wait, 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 gonna... wait, Rocky. If they signed one of those guys, they would give it to him. You don't think Shohei is going to, if he came here next year, you don't think they're going <laughs> to. Pinch hit J.D. Davis for him in the eighth inning? You don't think that, do you? What? Well, I I think that their fear is that they, that Kapler and, and Farhan would, and that's why they don't sign with us. That's interesting. I, I don't think you know. that. I, I don't I, I don't think Aaron Judge was I, like, man, I would have gone, but 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 they got that Jock Peterson guy, and they were gonna tough righty eighth inning. They're gonna go, you, come like no. I, Mike, I don't think they think that, but thanks, I think Rocky. they look. It's a good call. I think they look at the rest of the roster and they go, "This isn't." That's fair. Like that, yes. they're going to get there at bats, but I think they look at the rest of the roster as they're evaluating, trying to come over, and they're like, "Well, this is a bunch of platoon." Like you want to have a roster of guys that are going to yes. play every day, no who's matter gonna, what. You want to have gonna protect me. In like the you lineup. can have three or three or four platoons. You can't have eight or. You know, you can have two or three, well, my, you, not uh, six to nine. Again, my contention is is that the Giants are pinned with characteristics that they actually don't want, but they have them because they have not been able to succeed in getting better players. The, like, I, the I don't reality think... is if the Giants had three, let's just say, if they had two superstar position players and the other set, and, and let's just say they had two superstar position players, Patrick Bailey... The other six could all be platoons, and nobody would care. That's true. And honestly, that's kind of how the Dodgers have done it for the most part. Yeah, now, I, they've like, had more stars than two at times. They and have, can, but you're but, right. When people go, "Gosh, these Giants are run by analytics," I wish you'd all understand that they all do. The whole league, to a certain extent, yes. yes. The whole league, the Giants are doing more platooning. It's not because they're like we believe in platooning. It's because they don't have players. Who can do it the other way? I mean, Jock, and, that, and yes, that is their fault. Jock Peterson would turn into Kike Hernandez, and oh, Cody right. Bellinger would turn into David Freeze, and all you know, all this, all this stuff would happen. I wish they had gotten Bellinger. That would have been good. He did it, man. He popped back. He popped. He popped back. He's having a good he year. He's having a good year. But where would he um, be playing right now? Instead Cody? of Conforto, I guess. Yeah, or even in center. Been a revolving door out there, even though, I mean, Matos held it down for a while, but from Yaz to Slater to Matos, and now it's Meckler. See, and now and now it's like, I'm so skewed. Like, you're Cody like, Bellinger. look at Cody, and I'm thinking, well, how would that have fit? Would he, would he have put Yaz, would Yaz have been in, like, and it's just like, just get somebody that's going to play every day. Right. Yeah. Get I think that's what, like, but, but because he's good, yes, he's good enough to play every day. good enough to play every day. Like, righties, lefties, doesn't matter. He's in. I like, wonder. that's what Patrick Bailey's. I wonder Becoming, what, what his splits are. What has Cody Bellinger done against I, left-handers this I would, year? I would bet it's not great, but and I don't, I don't, I haven't watched the Cubs every day to know if they're semi-platooning him or not. He's having a real good year. He's having a real. But it good got to year. that point with the Dodgers too, where he wasn't always out there. He'd be hitting, well, yeah, or he'd be hitting he, ninth like, if he was. He had two years of hitting a, a, a buck eighty. Um, here we go, Cody Bellinger this year. Is hitting 327 overall. Um, holy smokes alive. He hitting 324 against right handers. He's hitting 333 against left handers. Oh, there you go. Got 114 at bats. But would the Giants have signed him with the intent on playing him no matter what? See, I don't think they would have. They should have. They tried to sign him, they called. But would they have signed him with the intent he- on. On playing him no matter what. I think Cody was like, you know that triples alley thing? That's cute. Yeah. Going to Wrigley. <laughs> well, better timing. Yeah.